Hey everyone, today's topic is skim media in Final Cut Pro. You can quickly skim your video and audio to preview it, search for a particular shot or make an edit. When skimming is turned on, you move the pointer forward or backward over the clip in browser and the content under the pointer plays in the viewer. You can also use the blade, trim and range selection editing tools to skim in a, in a timeline or precision editor. Let's see how these tools work. So I have to click on this arrow and I, will, I can see different kinds of tools that are available on Final Cut Pro. So by default, select is selected. So I can just select anywhere on the clip. It doesn't do that much. And now if I want to go to trim tool, so basically I can trim the clip. For example, if I want to trim this area and I will just go to my left hand side, you can see my other clip is also getting affected. So it's getting reduced and this clip is getting extended. So this is why we use the trim. So if I am, if I want, for example, my transition is happening on this area, so I can, you know, simply just drag it to my right or left based on my requirement and you can work with this trim tool. Similarly, if I, on my last clip and transitioning is happening over here, I just, I will just simply drag to where my, towards my left and you can see this clip is also getting reduced while this clip is getting extended. So this is the purpose of using trim tool. So now let's see what is position tool. So simply you can just position. If you click on position, you will see on what particular clip you are. So for you are here, you are particular in this position. If you can click over here, you on the first clip. So this is why we use position. So now let's see what is range selection. So if I click over here, now I have to select a particular range on the clip. The way to do is I click over here. I simply just drag towards the right. So this part of clip is selected. So you can do any modification. You want to add any effects, any increase or decreasing the sound volume based on your requirement. Again, what I have to do, I click and just drag. So that's how you use the range tool. Next, let's look up blade tool. So if I click on blade, if I want to trim a clip into two parts, I can, I can use the blade tool. So if I want to, if I click over here, my video will be turned into two clips. You can see now it's into two clips. If I want to make this clip into two, I'll just click over here and you can see now this is the two clips. So with the blade tool, you can basically have many clips from a single clip. Next, we have the zoom tool. So if I click on zoom, basically I can just zoom into my timeline. You can see if I want to click here, zoom, it gets keep zooming in. You can see over here, you can zoom anywhere you want. And the last tool is the hand. So basically you can just navigate on your timeline, like click, and then you can just drag either right or towards the left. If you guys have any questions, please comment below and I'm gonna respond to that. Also, stay tuned for more videos on Final Cut Pro. Thank you.